We've been dreaming of sailing in Maine for 20 years, and it is finally becoming a reality. This week, we're sailing from Gloucester, Massachusetts to the entrance of the Saco River in Maine. And what a sail it was, the most epic sail we've had to date, going wing on wing, downwind with the spinnaker in Maine. This is proof that with hard work and small steps forward, your dreams can come true. I'm Kristen, this is Fabio, and this is our dog Yoda. We sold our home last year and moved aboard our Seawind 1600 Catamaran Wanderlust. Over the past year, we've sailed the waters of South Florida, the Keys, and the Bahamas, shaking down our new boat. We're now setting off on our journey to harbors unknown, exploring the world and connecting with people and places through the local cuisine. Subscribe now to join our voyage. Gloucester. Known as the nation's oldest commercial seaport, its wharves have supported families and supplied locally caught fish to the nation since the early 1800s. However, in the 1960s when ocean-going fish factories from the USSR, Japan, and others discovered haddock, hake, and herring resources off Georgia's bank, they harvested as much as they possibly could, starting what was only the beginning of management, regulation, and fines that have reduced Gloucester's fishing fleet to just a handful of boats from its heyday. While moored in Gloucester's inner harbor, we witnessed this industry firsthand, with fishing boats pulling up to unload the day's catch working in time to a seagull symphony. Walking the harbor and nearby streets, we saw evidence of a fishing community not ready to give up, but one question remains. Fishermen have survived nature's fury at sea, but can they survive the perfect storm at home? We spent a few days moored here, working and provisioning before heading up to Maine. We'll be at the Annapolis Boat Show in October, so if you're planning to attend, let us know in the comment section. We'd love to meet you. Be sure to use promo code HARBORUNKNOWN2021 for $5 off admission. Let's move on. It's alright, so let's move on. It's alright. 
Mass this morning about 8 a.m. and we are headed for Saco Bay in Maine. We are super excited to finally be heading to Maine. It's August 18th and we had really wanted to leave earlier but as we mentioned in previous episodes we've been having trouble with our autopilot. It hasn't been working so we were troubleshooting that issue and Gloucester. Fabio found that it's actually a mechanical issue. One of the screws on the autopilot itself was loose and it was leaking oil, so there's not enough pressure to give rudder feedback to the autopilot. So, unfortunately, it's still not working and we're gonna have to hand steer all the way through Maine. But, it is what it is and I think we'll be able to do it. We'll probably just need to do shorter jumps since we'll be hand steering. Um, today it's about 50 nautical miles to Saco Bay. We've just got wind about 10 to 12 knots just off our stern, so we have the screecher out. And we do have a bit of engine on simply because we need to make good speed because we're going six and a half knots right now and we want to get to Saco Bay before dark, so we'll get there probably about 6.30. But other than that, it's a beautiful day. The sun has come out and we're excited. The wind moved almost directly behind us, so Fabio decided to put up the asymmetrical spinnaker by himself while I took the helm. Our spinnaker is launched with a sock, so each time you have to run the lines and hoist the sail with the halyard. We opted for a sock instead of a furler because we already have two furlers up front and thought a third would be excessive. Plus, we're accustomed to deploying a spinnaker with a sock. If you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel.
this is one of the most epic sails we've ever had. Wing on wing with uh, low wind speed. We have about nine to 10 knots of wind. I think we're going between five and six knots. The uh, wind is perfectly behind us. The boat is very balanced. We don't have any daggerboards down. We let the tack of the spinnaker up a little bit. This seems to be handling the downwind a little better. Just a lot of fun. Of course, we don't have autopilot. It would be nice to have a wind vane. But we have to hand steer all the way. Thankfully, it's not that tough. We were going by those islands, the uh, shoals there. The Isle of Shoals. The Isle of Shoals, yeah. I was actually working out, and Fabio asked me if I could take the helm for a minute. So I did, and I didn't know what he was doing. And when he was finished, he was like, we're wing on wing. <laughs> and he knows that if he had asked me if we could go wing on wing, I probably would have said no, because I'm a little chicken. <laughs> we picked up like a knot. It's very safe. I, I tested it a little bit first, and the sail was spinning nicely when I was going down wing. So I put the preventer, and it's, like, it's really nice with the system. With the uh, double main sheet, you can just ease the sail out and prevent it all the way out a little bit at a time. It's very safe. The wind is low, 11.3 knots now, and we're going, we're going 6.2. And the, I let the, um, the tack of the spinnaker out a little bit more to let the spinnaker come up a little bit and, and the uh, loft a little bit out. It just seems to be working better. I took both of the uh, dagger boards up and the boat is kind of sliding a little bit sideways. We have uh, 1.8 uh, knots of currents on the, on the beam, but uh, this way it's much easier for me to maintain the dead downwind course. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. Uh, epic sail, good, good fun. We made our way to the entrance of the Saco River, our home for the night, the first of many in Maine, a sailing destination we've dreamt of for 20 years. All right, we are finally in Maine. Yes. <laughs> and we've got our Allagash White main beer. Main beer. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh my God. Well deserved, huh? Oh yeah, for sure. It was a, <clears throat> was a, it was a great sale. Challenging, but it's great. Yep. Yeah, it was great. It was so beautiful when we were going wing on wing. Yes. And then we ended up, the wind got to what, like 18 true and we just were kind of tired right so yeah we wanted to take down the spinnaker and we pulled out the screecher yeah that was a nice we went with the screecher we're going yeah yeah so yeah. great sale mm -hmm. it's a great was a great sale but i'm very tired <laughs> so yeah now we're just gonna chill relax enjoy have we're at the morning it's a, they're nice mornings oh, here yes so actually we ended up coming to the Saco river and just at the entrance to the river there are three moorings that are maintained by the town and if you call the harbor master just ahead at once you're out just outside they'll let you know if any of the moorings are free fortunately for us there were two free moorings and 
really they just ask for a donation to help maintain the mooring. So oh. it's a really great stop if you're in this area. Yeah. I'll sleep tonight. <laughs> and Fabio will sleep tonight. If we were on anchor, <laughs> not so much. Not so much. <laughs> Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.